Hello viewers, I am Ria RP sir. I welcome you to my YouTube channel Techno Edu, meant for technical education. Today I am going to explain you Smith chart. Smith chart is used to find different parameters of transmission line. It is there in third year EXTC syllabus uh, in the subject electromagnetic engineering. It is also there in final year EXTC engineering MRE subject. There are two types of Smith chart. First is impedance Smith chart that is also called Z chart. Second is admittance Smith chart that is also called Y chart. We can find different parameters using Smith chart like admittance, reflection coefficient and VSWR. To understand the Smith chart, let's take an example. A transmission line of characteristic impedance Z0 equal to 50 ohm terminated by load impedance of ZL equals to 50 plus J150 ohm. Calculate reflection coefficient and VSWR. Step number one. Step number one will always be to normalize this ZL. How to normalize this ZL? Divide this ZL by given Z0. ZL is given 50 plus J150 and Z0 is 50. Dividing ZL by Z0, I will get 50 by 50 is 1, 150 by 50 is 3, 1 plus 3 J ohm. This is in the form of R plus JX. It means I have got R equal to 1 and X equals to 3. Step number 2 is to locate this point on Smith chart. Now let's take a Smith chart. This is my Smith chart. This is Z Smith chart. Now you can see the circles over here. And these circles are called R circles. You can also see the arcs. These arc circles are there. In the upper part as well as in the lower part. These arc circles are called X circles. Now I have to locate R equal to 1 and X equals to 3 r equal to 1 and x equal to 3. You can see at the center line of this circle a scale is given. At the center line of this circle a scale is given. This scale gives the values of this r circles. This is 1. It means this circle is r equal to 1 circle. This is 1.2. It means this circle is r equal to 1.2 circles. R equal to 1.4. Now I have to find, I have to get, uh, get my point on R equal to 1. Now this circle is R equal to 1. Therefore I will be getting my point on this R equal to 1 circles. Second, X is given, X equals to 3. So these are the arcs, X arcs. This arc center arc is X equal to 1 arc. This is 1.2, 1.4, 1 1.6. This is 2, X equal to 3. So I will be getting my uh, point on this x equal to 3. Now this r equal to 1 and x equal to 3 both are crossing at this point. Therefore my this point is my ZL. This point is my ZL. Now take a rounder. Keep it at the center of the Smith chart. And take the distance equal to ZL from center to ZL and draw a circle. Then take a scale and draw a line connecting center of the Smith chart and this point ZL. Now to get the reflection coefficient, I can find out the magnitude of reflection coefficient from a scale given on this Smith chart only. You can find this last scale given on the Smith chart below the Smith chart this last scale is for get getting the magnitude of reflection coefficient keep this rounder at the center and take the distance of the radius of the circle 
टेक दिस डिस्टेंस रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल कीप इट एट द स्केल गिवन एट द एंड लास्ट स्केल ऑन द स्मिथ चार्ट एंड मार्क ऑन इट ना यू कैन सी द स्केल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ओरिजिन जीरो देन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू नाउ आई हेव मार्क आफ्टर पॉइंट एट बिटवीन पॉइंट एट एंड पॉइंट नाइन दर फॉर इट कम्स आउट टू बी नियर अबाउट पॉइंट एट टू सो आई हेव गॉट माई रिफ्लेक्शन को इफिशियंट इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय टो इक्वल्स टू पॉइंट एट टू दिस इज माई रिफ्लेक्शन को इफिशियंट दिस इज मैग्नीट्यूड आई ऑल्सो गेट टू नो द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस सो आई कैन गेट दिस बाय मेजरिंग द डिस्टेंस बाय मेजरिंग द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सेंटर लाइन एंड दिस जेडल लाइन Now this gives me the angle. This comes out to be theta is equal to. You can measure out using d thirty four degree. Therefore, my reflection coefficient is point eight two angle thirty four degree. Okay. Hope you would have uh, understood how to find out the reflection coefficient. Once I repeat, I have to locate a point r equal to one and x equal to three. This is my r equal to one circle. This is my x equal to three arc. Now I have located this point r equal to one and x equal to three. Then taking this distance, radius distance in the rounder, you can go to the scale given below the Smith chart. Mark a point. It will give the magnitude. It comes out to be point eight two, and you can measure the angle from center line to the zedel line. This angle gives the complete reflection coefficient. Point eight two angle thirty four is my reflection coefficient. please subscribe my channel and i hope i you would have liked this video in future i will be uploading more smith chart options calculating more parameters thank you